Pteranoculus marinus, a species of tarantula that breeds fear, panic, and anxiety to many hobbyists around the world. In this video, I'm going to give you some basic information on the species, unbox a few specimens from so many legs, and we'll see if it's worthy of the fearsome reputation it's always getting. Hello everyone, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host, Robbie, and this is Robbie's Talking Tees, tarantula content for tarantula lovers. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back, I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for notifications when I upload future content. Like I said in the intro, in today's video, we are going over Pteranoculus marinus, or the OBT. We will be doing an unboxing from so many legs, three species in the genus. So sit back and enjoy the information I'm about to share with you. Pteranoculus marinus is an old world tarantula species, first described by Reginald Irons Pocock, in 1897. This tarantula is found on the African continent. Now the three species we are focusing on today will be the Usambara found in the Usambara mountain region, the red colour form also found in the Usambara mountain region and the Kigoma found in Botswana, Zimbabwe and Kenya. Pteranoculus marinus is a terrestrial species that has also been seen to exhibit arboreal behaviour. It's also a highly defensive species and is very quick to strike a threat pose whenever it feels threatened, hence being named the orange bitey thing. So here we go, we bought the mug of OBT from Andy Orms at So Many Legs, I highly recommend them. And we're going to start with Pteranoculus marinus, a red colour form. Now these guys grow to about a max size of 6 inches, so a medium sized terrestrial tarantula. They get the name red colour form because as you can see from the photo they get a beautiful stunning red colour on the femur of the legs. Females live 10 to 12 years, males only 3 to 4 years, but they are absolutely stunning. Males are slightly smaller than the females, they are sexually dimorphic. As you can see there, there's the little sling. Very well packed, can't even get the toilet paper out of the vial. Ooh. There it goes. So let's see what happens when we try and put it into the sling enclosure. Got these for a great deal on eBay. They worked out to a pound each. Amazing little clear glass sling enclosures. Gently prodding the sling into its new enclosure there. Nope, there it was, hiding. Now they can be a little bit bolty when they're slings, most slings are at that size. You won't get any fret postures or any bites. And even if they did, it wouldn't be medically significant. So everything's fine there. Prodding it down into the little enclosure. And there it is. Let's give you a close up of it. So there's the red colour form sling. 
leave it there just to get settled in maybe make its own little burrow slowly moving on now this is the Usambara or the UMV as it's called it's its name from coming from the Usambara mountain region in Africa now most people think because they come from Africa these guys like really high temperatures but I found at basic room temperature like 24 degrees these guys thrive you've got to think in the wild when that sunshine is blazing down at like 35 degrees in Africa these guys burrow deep underground they hide under rocks in tree trunks they try and get away from that intense heat so my advice is just normal room temperature they don't require any extra humidity and they just fry if they make their little web tunnels and they web up really really well in enclosures like it's almost like a gbb you may see like a little fine carpet or so they can detect prey as soon as it hits it but no their homes are really stunning when they set them up there it is bolted out onto my hand just sitting there chilling out let's try and see if we could get back in the enclosure without any hassle nope there it goes <laughs> told you they was boy but there it is we finally got it in and there's a tiny little usambara sling Again, we'll leave it there so it can settle in, dig a little burrow. Let's move on to the next one. So, this is the Kigoma. Now these ones are a gorgeous chocolate brown colour with flecks of gold on the carapace. It's absolutely stunning. I was so amazed when I opened up the box to see this one sitting in there because I've been toying with the idea of getting this one for a very long time but then other species of tarantula just popped up and I got those instead so to get this in the mug of OBT was absolutely brilliant keep these guys exactly the same way as the other species no special requirements, water dish room temperature they do perfectly fine when they start burrowing having issues with the toilet paper here this was really a little bit dry in the box and there it is nice little close-up there these really are stunning I can't wait to do an update video once this has put on some size again it will only grow to about six inches but they are gorgeous gorgeous tarantulas there it is giving me the run around And it bolted off, but it's okay because it, I was doing it in a enclosed space, so it didn't get far. Just take my time, don't scare it anymore. There it is. See how dark it is in comparison to the other two slings. And there it is inside the enclosure. I managed to get it in there without too much fuss just give you guys a better view of it there it is all safe and sound so I hope you enjoyed that it really is a fun experience rehousing OBTs they're an amazing species
so there we have it the unboxing of the three slings from this species that we got from so many legs as you can see they was very manageable the slings you can get them in the enclosure very easily but the more size they put on the more bolty and more fret like behavior you tend to get with these but if you take your time and you're patient you'll get through it easily now I'm going to take this opportunity to address my 300 subscriber giveaway which is happening on Saturday the 14th of April during a live stream which I will hopefully be live around about 11am that morning. So there's still time to enter. If you go to my previous video and write mystery box please in the comments you're in with a chance. So good luck to everyone. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, see you in the next one.